other words, plenty of stuff. Right? Yeah. Three days' work to do and one day to do it. Let's have a look. Now, you're right there, Uncle. Why not run a traverse around the hill? Then check on the triangulation point through the gap. I never thought of that. That's the benefit of using a little common sense. What's on your mind? The hole's all loaded at the tunnel entrance. Yeah? You want to shoot at noon? Why noon? The sooner we shoot, the quicker we'll get the steel lake. Ah, but the rules, sir. Ah, wait a minute. I make my own rules. Always have and always will. Go on, shoot it now. Of course, you're in charge, but... If I'd you're afraid to shoot it, I'll shoot it for you. Oh, man. Just a second. Go ahead and fire that hole. I'll take the blank. How are you, Mason? What do you say? I'm not so sure you'll want to shake hands, Frank. I'm here to rest. Oh, is that all? I thought you were sorting me for something. Well, what is it this time? You've been helping Galvez run arms across the canal zone. You seem pretty sure about it. It ain't guesswork. We caught Galvez, and he squealed. I never did get you, Mac. Throwing away a brilliant career, in straits like this. For what? Oh, some yap in Washington said nothing. And I don't like orders. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> of course, you're on the other side of the fence. But we've always been friends. And I sure hate to do this, Mason. Can't go through the tunnel, Mac. The fuse is lit. Use my eye. I'm in a hurry. Patty McHale. Didn't Mother tell you not to open that oven door? Yes, Mommy. Then why did you do it, Patty? I don't know. But you always do what Mother tells you not to. Why, Patty? I think it's fun. Sometimes I'm afraid you're related to your father. I'm sorry, Mommy. <laughs> now I know you're related to him. <laughs> Hello, Danny. Danny, you're in some sort of trouble again. How do you know? Would you be so happy otherwise? Just when everything is going along so smoothly. I've been an awful flop as a husband. Never thinking of anything but my own fun. Can you tell me why? It's not that I don't love you, Mary. I know that. But you were born lawless, Jenny. No woman could ever hold you. Oh, not. I'll be sending for you in a matter of weeks. Is your husband here, Mrs. McHale? No, he's not. Do you mind if I look around? Go ahead, boys. 
I'm sorry for you, Mrs. McGale. You needn't be. I've been looking all over Shanghai for you, Bert. Just run into something that's right up your alley. It means a fortune to us if we can get out with a whole skin. No. I'm leaving for a construction job in the morning. Not when I tell you about this one. A heathen temple in the midst of the jungle. A teak wood chest knee deep in rubies. A crossman here knows the back emperor. Uh -huh. Nothing, Joe. Uh -huh. Now look here. Dot chest, rubies as big as apples. And if we get caught, uh, we may leave our heads sticking on bamboo poles somewhere out in the jungle. Hey, Anybody dumb enough to get caught by those sleepwalkers ought to lose. Here's a report from the men I've had on it. The house has burned. We followed every possible clue. We found nothing. Nothing. I don't like orders. 
Tell the mates we're advanced. This will mean court martial, Mac. Captain Easter to you. Dennis Patrick Easter is now number 4031. Bring him in. Yes, There's a sort of grim humor in presenting a medal to a hero behind the bars of a prison. Humor won't be lost on Easter. He's a very strange man. In the past three years, he's quelled two prison breaks and started three of his own. Look! Sound the alarm. Let our president enjoy himself while he can. He hasn't long. I'd feel better if we finish our business with this green gold, Easter. Forget him. I have ways of getting rid of men that get served my trust. Sit down, then. May I take your hat, senor? Thanks. Where's Don Flavio? On the balcony, senor. Welcome, Captain Easter. All right, keep your seats, keep your seats. I came back from my trip earlier than I expected. I heard some ugly rumor. Rumor? About what? It seems there's a plan on foot to replace me as military leader of this movement. You sent for me to organize your fighting force. And that force has been organized. And will support any man I name for president. Anyone. Happy is Sure, you don't suspect me a part of such treasure. Well, where are those additional rifles you promised me? Part of them are already at the Maison. The final shipment will be made within a few days. Well, why wasn't I advised before? You think they died that day. The man I have in mind will call on you at your hotel tomorrow. The two countrymen of you. Uh, Mr. Smith and, uh, and uh, Mr. John. Do you know that? I know every gun runner in the trouble. And they're all named Smith. <laughs> or Jones. Uh, uh, will you join us? Thank you. This is not a social call. <laughs>
Tell me what's wrong with the president that we have now. Can you tell me what's right about? Answer the boy, what's done good for you and me? Well, he starts the new reform. That will mean a much. But it'll take a time. Yes, huh? and money. Lots of money. Keep it quiet. What do you know about this? What do I know? I can read. I know how he spends our money. So does everybody else. Look, see for yourself. sincere, would have all my work to do. I tell you, senor, there must be no revolt. The man who's at the heart of this revolt is a countryman of mine, 
calls himself Captain Easton. Countryman of yours? I know him of old. That's why the State Department sent me down. Why don't we arrest him immediately? Well, it would be useless to arrest him until I can prove what I know. My plans are set. Within a week, I'll have enough evidence to hang him. Then I'll turn him over to you for extradition. Tell Chango to take that to the laundry. Is there anything wrong with me? Am I poisoned? No. There's nothing wrong with you, kid. Well, the man seems I'm pretty. <laughs> you don't get it. Your merchandise is all right. But I'm not in the market. See? Keep out of sight. I'll see to this. I got it. It's better to say. Say, that room will do. Take the young lady in there. I want an accounting for me to be personal in this maison. Well, I can only answer for my friends and myself. You see, we came in here to escape the riot from the street. You heard a disturbance in here. Well, all I know is the young lady's hurt. Take her inside. 
course. If you want a detailed account of it, I'll... Take the pallet and let her one leave until you're finished. me the entrance to this room, senor? But a gentleman doesn't have to be denied entrance to a room where a lady don't have privacy. I'm glad my confidence in your discretion has not been mistaken. You found nothing? Nothing, senor. Bueno, vámonos. Acabayo. Well, did they find anything? And what did you expect them to find? Hey, put down those rifles and get out of here. I hope you haven't misunderstood anything you've seen around here. It might be awkward for both of us. Now, I'm an importer, in a small way. Brought in a few rifles and some uh, farm machinery. And quite a consignment of lard. Si, senor, few of lard. Well, that's all of it, Captain. That's all of it, Captain. Well, cast off and we'll head for sure. We ain't going back. We'll take our dough and go with the other tug. You'll take your dough when these guns are landed. I've been hijacked before. You don't think we treat a pal like that, do you? I don't trust anyone till I know them. Well, you know us. I'm smart. And I'm... Yes, I know, I know. You're Jones. Yeah. I will cast off. Turn over that motor and cast off. On both of you. You got us a fine fix now. What's that? The patrol boat's liable to come along and sink this tub, and I can't swim. Hey, boys. Don't turn that on until you hear their engine. We can't miss them. They've got to stay this side of the reef. Hey, you fellas get a motorboat? Let me a motorboat. I don't see any running lights. Well, there isn't any lights on the patrol boat. Hey, kill that engine. Must have been wrong. I've done the other thing. Turn over the motor, Jones. A patrol boat. Wait a minute, I'll put his lights on, then we'll get away in the dark. I got him. Come here, Jones. Come on. Get this big monkey out there. Come on, Jones. We but I don't go around bragging about it. Get aboard, there's a patrol boat coming. Grab all of this until the patrol boat gets around. Exactly, prisoners. I'm just holding these witnesses until I get him. 
Oh, why didn't you shoot him when you had the chance? Oh, shut up. With everything all set, I would have to fall for the oldest trick in the world. Well, they didn't catch you, so there's no harm done. No harm done? Why, from now on, I'm a marked man. I used to work in the open. And now I have to work undercover and on the run. You mean too much to the movement to run such a risk. You must remain out of sight, here. Now is the time I've got to be most active. Bringing in ammunition and distributing rifles, organizing, etc. All that can be arranged by someone acting under your orders. Oh, nuts. Where can I find anybody I can depend on? Think I could get away with it? Why not? You think fast? You have a cool head? Plenty of nerve? And remember, kid, there's big stakes for both of us. Oh, but look at the fun I'd have. Your suspicions of Pat. I took the trouble, the cable for his history. Assuming this is true, why do you bring it to me? Collins means a lot to you, doesn't it? East is the man I want. I'm going to get it. What I do, I'm going to get everybody connected with him. Now, to get Easter, I might be willing to forget what I know about young Collins. Think it over. You are a villain, and you are a rogue. There's nothing in you, Irish, except your name and wrong. You're killing me in the ship. You know? Come in. Miss Lord. Excuse me, miss. I wasn't expecting you. Uh, looking for Pat? I was, but... I think I better talk to you first. Uh, I'll take the chair on the balcony. It's rather private. Oh, will you take a seat? If you don't mind, I'll stand. Captain Easter, what are we going to do about Pat? Worried about him? Naturally. Well, you needn't be. Now, there's a boy with a great future. Why, he's a natural-born gun runner. And inside of two years, I'll make him the best in the game. The best. What? As if you're proud of what you've done. 
Why shouldn't I be? Do you realize how few good gun runners there are in this country? Would it make any difference if you knew that he was your own son? I came here. You got him into this nest. It's up to you to get him out of it. Don't worry about Mason. He lived in the tropics for 12 years and couldn't even catch malaria. Not a boy. Eastern Sun. What a combination. You don't mind his being in this business? Mind? Look what the fun we'll have together. I suppose it is fun to you. But was it fun for Mrs. McKay? Was it fun for Pat, not to be raised on charity? You know the answer. And if you think that I'm going to stand by and let you break Pat's life and mine, did you break Mrs. McHale? Wait, wait a minute, Miss Lord. If you think I'm going to let anyone take Pat away from me now I've found him, you're mistaken. Now look here. Miss Lord, now just wait. Since you are doing all the Captain Easter's work, I don't see any reason why you should... Just a minute, Don Flavio. I don't think you understand. I'm acting for Captain Easter, not trying to replace him. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I think my business here is ended. Is it wise to let him go? He'll go straight to Easter at the Maison with the whole story. Let him. We're through with Captain Easter and the boy. We're ready to strike. The Maison has served its purpose. One word to the Federal troops, and they would arrest everyone in it, including our friend, Captain Easter. We will lose a few rifles, a handful of men, and be rid of the gringos. There are rifles at the Maison, senor. I saw them with my own eyes. The leaders are two gringos. One who called himself Captain Easter, the other Pat. Orderly, call Captain Garcia to report for orders. Detain this man. Yes, sir. Who's lying about us? Panchita. She's in love with Pat. I know. And before she is through, she will give you... Now, and go slow. Go slow. Take it easy. Well, what are you trying to tell me? Well, I was in the canteen. Patricio! I can't stop. I'm in a hurry. I've got to find Captain Easter. Captain Easter is through. Through. He's made a fool of you. 
You took the risk, you did the work, while he sat in his room laughing at you. Now, wait a minute. Captain East is a friend of mine. You'll see. Once the work is done, he'll get rid of you. I don't believe it. Captain Easter and I are going up together or down together. I'm not so sure about that. Vamoose. Come on, vamoose everybody. I found out something today that has made me change my mind about you. Bambino. I don't think I get you. You see, uh, I knew your father. You did? Yeah. Well, what reason is that for changing your mind about me? Wasn't he a friend of yours? Well, that isn't an easy question for me to answer. Say, what would you say if I told you? That your father was just, uh, well, wild and lawless. <laughs> oh, I knew that. You see, my mother told me all about him. Oh, no. She didn't tell you all about him. I knew your mother, too. She was too fine a woman for him. I don't like the way you said that, Easter. Hmm. You talk as though you're proud of your father. Why shouldn't I be? He was one of the best. She always said that. Yeah. I thought the same thing myself once. But there was another angle to him she wouldn't have told you. She wasn't that kind. You know, he was a civil engineer who might have gone right to the top, but didn't. He missed. Pat, I don't want you to go that way. And from now on, it's up to you. Whether you go right to the top as your father could have done, or go down and be the same worthless, mean son of a... What did I tell you? He's trying to get rid of you. I know what you're doing. You let him do all the work, and now you're trying to put him out of your way. I'm going to let you get away with that just because you're a kid. But you're getting out of this game right now. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. You're not telling me anything, Easter. Conchita told me plenty, and I didn't believe her. Well, maybe the laugh's on me, but get this. I'm through taking orders. From now on, I'm given. You're going to take one more order from me. You're going to get it out if I have to... Go on! Get out of here, everybody! Go on! Capitan! Be a Capitan! been here for three days. You men search the place, and you matter the cantina. The storeroom, sir, a few rifles and some ammunition. Close the door and stand guard. You two guard the gates, and arrest anyone who tries to enter.
What's all this? Quiet. The soldiers will hear you. Soldiers? What soldiers? They were here. They captured everybody. No, senor. No? <laughs> well, I am. So far, so good, Lieutenant. I am your captain. There's one more thing I want you to do, see? Oh, see. Mira, dos hombres. ¡Alto! ¡Alto! Vale, Chango. No, Chango. No por dar. Night's rain means nothing. This movement is well organized. And there's only one way for us to cope with the situation. That is to declare martial law. Exercising the powers vested in me, I hereby declare military law throughout the Republic Alturas, empowering General Alfonso Rodriguez in complete charge with full authority to act. I'm Captain Easter, Mr. President. Don't press that button. Is this a threat? No, I'm not here to threaten you. I've come here to make a bargain. You may call the police if you like, but that won't end the revolt. Before dawn, you will hear the first guns of the revolution. Or tourists will proclaim a new president, unless I stop them tonight. Why should you want to end it? The man at the head of it double-crossed me. You don't know him. I do. That's just what I'm selling. What is your proposition? Remove the price on my head so that I can leave all tourists. And I'll turn him over to you before daylight. But you're a hunted man. How do you expect to get by my police? I'll require a pass. Write what I dictate. To all police and military officers. The bearer is engaged on a special mission for the Republic.
call him such aid as he may desire. The man just left the palace by the side entrance. Tell Captain Valdez to detail four soldiers to follow him. No, he is not to be molested unless he attempts to leave Alturas. What has it? Who can say, Senor? All I know is we are ready to strike, and we have no soldiers. But why? Why? In nombre de Dios, why? Senor, in the performance of my duty, I am compelled against my sentiment to carry out the verdict of martial law. Mi comandante, un individuo insiste en entrar sin permiso. ¿Qué debemos hacer? The head of the revolt. 
Your plans work perfectly, sir. Yeah, what does this mean? Count Flavio is one of our most trusted Senor citizens. Commandante. The gentleman is right. I found the proof. Who is this man you report to? Why, he's the special emissary of your president. Paper pay. But, senor, why did you not show me this before? And may I ask, uh, who are you? Colonel Das Rios. Why? I'm Inspector Mason. I thought I had seen your face before. Why, of course you have. <laughs> I'm not, Captain. Can you run, kid? Sure. Well, let's get going. Stop that man! He's Captain Easter. We have Captain Easter. Oh, well, let kid I am, your father. Pop, I'm sure glad to meet you. Knows what to do. Keep going. Good luck, and I'll see you kids in Frisco. Am I on time, Lieutenant? Right on the dot. 